today I'm going to do some unusual experiments with the Newton's Cradle. So basically the Newton's Cradle, this is how it works. It shows the transfer of energy. So I remove one ball from the end. When I let it go, it transfers the energy and knocks the ball off the other end. You can do it with one ball, or you can do it with a couple balls. So the first experiment here is going to be, I have this really big fishing magnet that has a pull force of 1,500 pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on top of it, and I can feel the force draw it down. Now you can definitely see that they're under the influence of the magnet. And they're actually very difficult to break apart because they're all stuck together now. I'm going to pull this apart. And it only does it once successfully because of the powerful magnet. I just let it go with more force and it did it twice. Now let's try two balls. Yep, the magnet just draws it down. Let's see how powerful the magnet is. Keep in mind, these balls are quite heavy and they are solid metal. When I go ahead and tip it on its side, you see they stay straight at the 45 degree angle. But if I go any further, the magnet just can't handle it through the piece of wood. But it's amazing that it's able to still, it's holding up all that weight. Now I'm going to pull away from the magnet. Yep, there we go. Okay, next experiment. We are going to electrify it with 15,000 volts of electricity through this transformer. So basically, I set one wire on each end. As soon as I turn the transformer on, instantly there's going to be arcs between the gaps. But what I want to do is, I have this, a rubber hose, so I can pull it from a safe distance away from the electricity. I'm going to pull this thing back, let go but a lot harder than that. And there's going to be arcs between the gaps, and as the gaps spread, the arcs will spread too. Hopefully the arc doesn't burn the plastic cables holding it, because that would be the end of this. Yep, I hot glued them right onto the balls. Yeah, we got the arc. Ah. Oh. I can see it starting to fry the, yeah, it's, it's, I can guarantee that's going to wreck those plastic cables. I don't even think I'll get over there in time to move that. We'll try. Yep, there we go. We lost it. Maybe we can still try it with the leftover. So that electrical arc burned two of the wires. I was able to fix it quickly with hot glue. Another day when I have the patience, I'll replace the fishing line on those two. So I pull it away, and I realigned it pretty well so it continues to work. One last experiment I want to try is using this thing underwater. I want to see how it reacts with all the resistance that the water puts around it. I bet it's only going to go once or something like with the magnet, but let's see. The reason I didn't do the water first is because I didn't want the wood to be saturated because it, the arc would just go through the wood. How's this going to work underwater? Actually better than I expected. Probably because these are pretty big. If I was to use one of these that had the really tiny balls. Yeah, that's pretty awesome.
water, and magnet. Okay, the resistance of both. We can't even get it to go out the other end. Yeah, the resistance is too much to do anything now. Oh, we got a little there. Let's try two balls. <laughs> 